Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new day of the backpacking in Vietnam. We are in Hoi An, look at this room. I actually haven't showed you too many, there's Austin, hello. She's lost, she's, she can't speak anymore, hello. but anyway. Um, I haven't actually showed you too many rooms because some of them crap. Uh, but this one's actually nice. This is like 15 pound a night, 20 pound a night, something like that. And um, yeah, we're back in a hostel again. And this is like, I am somewhere I was very excited for, and you'll see why during this episode, but let's do a wee room tour, will we? Here's some lovely decor on the wall. We are actually meant to have a twin room, because of falling out, no, I'm joking. We are meant to have a twin room, because that's what all is available. She upgraded us to double. So, what a lovely lady, with a, with a, with a balcony. Well, you go out here. And there's like a pool down there and stuff. Filled with backpackers. But yeah, this is the place. These aren't free. Water's free. We've got a, be a fridge. And my first thought was like, hmm, should I go and buy a case of beer and fill up my own stuff? Hack the system. That's good Because we've got a balcony now, and that could be fun. And then here's the bathroom. Now you guys can't smell in here, which is a good thing. Because I had my first Vietnamese coffee and that got destroyed. Your first uh, coffee ever? My first coffee pretty much ever. I don't really drink coffee, so. Really? You've never had one in your life? And it was an iced latte, basically. It was an iced latte. It was very nice. That's all for me. Like... Actually, it was nice. I enjoyed it. But yeah, here's the, here's the bathroom. Lovely. They all have bath showers everywhere. It does. And then there's me. Hello. We actually got our clothes washed today as well, so I'm wearing clean clothes, which is amazing. But yeah, apart from that, I'll just take you along to the things that we're doing here. There. You know how these vlogs go now. They're not very professional, they're rough and ready. But I think this is going to be a bit more traditional here. You can get clothes made, you can do lanterns and get in boats and stuff. So I'm actually not too sure if I have vlogged in the night time uh, that much. But we're in Hoi An, which is going to be filled with shit, I guess. Beautiful boats. So yeah, this, I'm expecting this to be quite like, apparently there's like a lan lantern fest one day. We literally arrived and they were like, um, also I'm balancing on like a tiny wee road walk and that's why I'm like all over the place. Um, you know, I'm expecting as they said, it's full moon tonight and they celebrate the full moon here. It's like quite a big thing. And um, we're gonna go and hopefully put some lanterns on the river or go on a boat or do something like that. Apparently this is the biggest day that they do it on. So let's go see. So we were told not to book with just any old bus or bus boat boat company. You have to like go to like a ticket office. But look how nice this is. Look at this. So we rented the boat. This is amazing. I don't know what this is, but something. There's an Irish boy here, look, green, white, and orange. Irish people, Ireland flag. I mean, you can take the boy from Ireland, you can't take the Ireland out of the boy. I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm like, I'm going full Louis Walsh here. Like, you look like a pop star, you sound like a pop star, you're gonna be a pop star, you're gonna be one now. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today, we're just exploring like the town of Huayan. Basically, what you can do is you can make like custom clothes and stuff like that. So, I think Austin might be doing some of that later or tomorrow or something like that. Um, I don't, they're, they're trying to sell me suits. I don't think I want a suit, although they do look nice. Um, I might get shoes, you can get custom shoes made. I might get that done. Uh, kind of like Birkenstock style things. Maybe do that. Um, but yeah, walk around. Very nice old town, lots of wee shops. Lots of like um, tailors and stuff like that. So we'll show you some of those if we can. So these are the shops. See all the fabrics and suits and all they make. It's pretty cool. Ask what's going to do. Here we are. What are you doing, lady? Sir? 
Uh, we saw Ashton is lantern making today. So she's going to turn this and this and uh, those, I think. There we go. How are we getting on? Good. <laughs> and the glue came. Wait, no, wait. The glue man. The trusted one bit and not to mess it up. Which I probably will mess up. Oh, yeah, I'm doing this right. How do you feel? I don't know if I'm doing it right. And if I don't get it right, I'll just go shout at me. So, <sighs> stress. Like a wee girl. Like a wee girl. You can't say that. It's 24s and manly. Talk to masculinity. Pretty. And there you go. She's done. Look at that. Beautiful. So today we're at the night market, looking around. Lanterns everywhere. None of them as nice as the one we made earlier, mind you. So it just got absolutely dripped out in the rolly. <laughs> oh, we have to go pay for it now. Hello. I think I'm wrong. Watch reveal. Let me know what you think. Bought a fake Rolex. Always wanted to buy a fake one because I can't afford a real one, obviously. But uh, this he worked out at 900 dong. So as I said, he started at like 1.9. And then it just kept going down and down. And I was like, just give me your best price. Come be bored with haggling. And as soon as he made a low price, I was like, ha, go haggle with you now. So uh, we won the war there. We won the war of the, the haggle. Because when we were going to the shop to play with the card, you had to go like around the corner. The different shop, he was like, don't let them see like how much I let you pay for this. They'll not be happy. <laughs> so the Michael Levy haggle techniques has come in clutch. So today we're doing a cooking class and we've been taken to the local market to go buy some stuff. By the way, it's like 9 a.m. So we're doing like a lunchtime one. Hey, she wants to work on the cooking today. She's saying how, like, what things are, like, what is this? We didn't know. What is this? We didn't know. And then she turned around and was like, You are, she all you know is potatoes. Racism. It absolutely stinks in here. So here we are. I think they're going to be a little hot. Yes. This is fun to try. The Gangnam Style music makes it. Well, that was completely random. <laughs> you get on a boat and play authentic Gangnam style Vietnamese music. <laughs> yeah! yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good catch! <laughs> <laughs> oh my <Is> god! <laughs> Great catch! Wow! Look at that, champion fisher, five crabs. She keeps saying Nam Kong, which I think means five. Right, so this is all part of the same tour. Cooking class time. Yeah, now we're cooking in the kitchen. Woo! In the kitchen. These are handy things. Oh yeah, shrimp and pork. Oh, she put it here. Then we get to go and cook the spring rolls in the pot fire. So we've done our spring rolls. They're sitting on the table behind us, and now we get to make chicken. Look at this here. So, we're back at the hostel, we've just done the cooking class, that was, I'm gonna give it a rating, that was 10 out of 10 day, like that was really good. We're up from 8 to go to that, done by like half one, not rushed, took our time, we literally had like a wee woman helping us, that would like do social media and do like slow-mo videos and all for us while we were cooking, so you didn't have to worry about like getting photos or missing, stuff like that. Um, me and Ashton both got to like cook ourselves and then for them main dishes, everyone kind of like worked together. So yeah, super good. 
10 out of 10, would recommend. Also the food is banging, but wait and see, this will be, this will be the one time I get the shits. <laughs> and it's food I cook for myself. Time will tell. So, we're in a tailor shop. Asha wants like a dress or something, so we're at live negotiations. Well aware this might not be of interest to my male audience, but it's quite cool. All the different fabrics and stuff. For a minute this was fun, and then I remembered I'm a man, and this is women shopping. And it's become my living idea of hell. <laughs> it's measure up time. <laughs> a pair of these made. Custom fitted to my foot. <laughs> oh my god, your foot's getting drawn. This is hilarious. <laughs> this is the weirdest experience ever. So we bought a pair of these. It cost 500. £16. It'll be custom fitted to my foot. I'm so reason I never video the negotiations because people that know me and think I'm miserable will just laugh because you're literally arguing over like 50 dong which is like £2. And I'm like no, a lot cheaper. So I end up paying 500 which is like £16 right now so for a pair of Boston Burks custom fitted to my feet which should cost off the Birkenstock website like 120 quid, we'll take that. We shall take that. I don't think they're going to come out of the packet though until I get home. These are a home purchase, I think. So yeah, sorry about the feet content, but that was pretty interesting, pretty funny. Today I'm back on the bike. Hopefully this cools the seat down if I'm sitting in the scorching sun. <laughs> yesterday I saw for the orange shoe, Yeah. For my customer, 700. Wow. <laughs> wow. This they're very nice. Yes. Thank you. If you have friends, you can recommend coming to my shop, please. Yes. What's your shop called? Hannah, Hannah, your shop. Should give you a good price. I'd have to have a five star review on Google as well, so. <laughs> she says because I'm hot so much, she does a good price. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, my helmet, yes, thank you. Bye bye. 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 So there we go, there's a bargain. 500 dong for the clogs. Now I gotta get them on my scooter and get them home somehow. Where the hell they park my scooter? Over here. So we've motorbiked our way across. Look at the state of me. Motorbiked our way out to the rice fields. You can see like smoke burn in the background and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Bike was like 150 to rent. Actually, they do this weird thing here, right? So this is all rice fields when you see. This is rice and they dry it in the sun like on the roads. So he's just working away at drying the rice. Here's Austin learning the scooter. I've had to drive around everywhere so far. I've just realised I'm kind of stuck out here now. Uh, Austin could happily leave me here. And yeah, this might be the last you'll ever see of Sean. I can leave you. Stuck in Vietnam forever. Okay, so that's the rice fields. We're next we're going to head to, I think, a pottery barn or a pottery place thing. Driver, take me to where I need to go. Woo! You gotta pick your design, spin the wheel. <laughs> it's a very arts and craft activity. Oh, I got the So, what have you made there? <laughs> she said I could make anything and I was like, I'll make a mommy videos. <laughs> yes. This is on video, so take a photo, alright? Look at my design. Right. She's just going me the whole time. She's just like, yeah, your hands are too big, lot. And I'm like, tell me about it. Uh, so the deal is, you can take the thing you just made home for free and paint it and stuff if you buy something. And the stuff is pretty cheap. <laughs> She's just like, just like, don't worry. I've got lots of bubble wrap. <laughs> right, Alice, what do you think of that? That's an absolute masterclass. The best potter this place has ever seen. No idea how I'm going to get home or do anything with it, but it's been painted and it's been white. Not quite sure what Ashen's done. You don't like it, no? It's, it's, it's not for me. Just when you think the air fryer can't do any more for humanity. They're using them in Vietnam. Did the right cup of pottery. <laughs> All right, we're here. Through the theater. Ashen's getting her dress fitted. As I said, like, come and show me the messes never fun, but this is actually quite interesting. 
I'm not like tailored made. Interesting. Made me want to get something but I'm like, nah. No point getting a shirt tailor made. Shirts are shirts. I don't know if other men experience this, but like I'm used to like the ladies in my family go and try and stuff on tears. I'm used to them getting their hair cuts, getting it done by the hairdresser and wedding days, tears, you know? So this has been relatively successful. I really thought this was gonna be <laughs> trying to dress on tears, cry. Because the Vietnamese people are very funny. They like there was like a man trying to suit on and she's just like, stop breathing in. He goes, I'm not breathing, you are breathing, you're hiding your fat tummy. You're like, oh god. <laughs> so what did you think? Um, yeah, it was pretty, it was a nice, unique, it's mine. And yeah. Just, Didn't need to do anything. So it needs to be taken in a little bit more. It was just a little loose <laughs> around here. There's the grand reveal of what we made. So just around this segment of the shoes and shopping, they cost me, what they cost me? £16, basically. Absolute bargain, if you ask me. Look who's joined the vlog. There he is. And we're here. Getting food poison from a cocktail bar. We need a triple second. The, last, the, last the line is 